Hey artists, today we're going to draw and paint this snail. Make sure you have a pencil, an eraser, a sharpie, watercolor paper, watercolor paints, a glass of water, paintbrushes, and a paper towel. It's important to have the correct supplies for this style of painting, especially the watercolor paper and the sharpie. Let's go ahead and get started. So first we're going to grab our pencils and we're going to start by drawing the snail's head, which is just kind of a circle-ish oval shape. A little more like an oval, but... Okay, just like that. We're not going to connect the bottom. We're going to start on his body then. Just kind of curve down a little. And then kind of like a squiggly somewhat line. And then we're going to do kind of the same on the top. But slowly go into a point, a rounded point down here like this. Just like that. We're going to draw two antennas on, so just line like that with a circle on the end and the same on the other side. You can go ahead and draw in the eyes. So two circles, one, two. And then I put a little highlight in his eye, just like right here. All right, and then we're gonna draw the shell. So we'll start about here on his head and kind of make a circle. Wrap it around and connect it down here. If you need to go back and kind of fix what you did there, you can. I didn't quite make mine rounded enough, so I'm going to fix that. All right, once you have that, you can go ahead and start on the swirl in the middle. So we'll start about here and just kind of swirl out slowly, just like that. I, my last swirl stopped about there. You could stop it there. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll go ahead and erase that bottom line and just stop it right there at his head. It doesn't really matter where it stops though. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take my Sharpie and I'm going to go over all those pencil marks that I made. Um, you can do the same thing. Make sure that you leave that highlight in the eye and you can also make some of these outer lines a little thicker just to give a little bit more dimension. All right, I'm done with my marker, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my eraser and erase all those pencil marks that are left behind. All right, I'm all done with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my paper towel and my paintbrush, and we can go ahead and start painting. I'm gonna start with the shell. So I did my shell blue. You can choose whatever color you want. I'm just going to take some of my blue paint and I'm going to start down here where it's going to be a little darker. Just go along that line there and right around his head. We can start moving that in toward the center a little bit. We're going to have to add quite a bit of paint because this is a big area. So I'm going to go ahead and go around the edges here again with this dark paint. You can take your water and kind of fill in. Okay, now I'm going to take some more dark and I'm going to go around this line here. And then again with some water, kind of pull it out. Just like this. And then again with some dark, I'm going to put this dark right about here. And then I'm going to pull that out. I need a little bit more. You can just kind of blend it until you're happy with it. So 
So to give this snail a little bit more color, I actually went in with a little bit of purple after I was done with this blue, just to give it a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of that purple now. And I just kept the purple near the bottom, kind of as a shadow, and around the side here. You can just blend that in. So under all those swirls, just add a little purple. And once you're happy with that, we can go ahead and move on to the green and the snail. So I took this bright green and I went around the outside of his face first. You can even go right down here. And I took my water and blended that in. Be careful not to get in the highlights of the eyes. If it doesn't seem dark enough, you can go ahead and with some more green. You can see some of my blue is kind of moving on in there because I had some water on the snail. That's okay because you can just kind of blend it in and it'll be a little darker in that spot, which is fine. Then I'm going to go ahead and make this part of the snail wet. Take some more of that green and I'm going to go around underneath the bottom here. And slowly bring that up so it gets lighter and lighter. Again, for the green, I ended up taking a little bit of purple just to make a little bit more color so it wasn't so plain. And I just took a little bit of purple right at the bottom of this snail, kind of blended it in. Kind of makes a brown color, but still, you can still see some of the purple. You can even put some right here, just like that. I'm just going to go in and blend this a little bit more. All right, I think I'm all finished with my snail. If you enjoyed doing this video with me, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see when I release new videos. I would love to make art with you again soon. Most importantly, keep creating. See you next time. Bye.